You see, when God starts to deliver you, you have to be detoxed. Oh, yeah. Are you getting me? Amen. Because we are filled with so much stuff. And what happened is, when you are spiritually and scripturally illiterate, yeah. can't tell the difference of what scripture and what's men's opinion. That's right. What's scripture versus what's men's philosophy and ideology. Right. When you become scripturally in tune to what God thinking is, yeah. the scriptures start to detox. It start to undo everything that what bishop done to you. That's right. And what church done to you. Because God don't want nothing in you but him. That's it. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. This is why we're making our business to point you to the Bible. Yeah. Bible for this. Yeah. Bible for that. Bible for the other. Oh, because yeah. the Bible is a filter. That's right. That traps and removes and get rid of all religious filth. Yeah. That's right. Even if that religious slop is dumped on us, wrapped up in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. The name is right, but the slop is wrong. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. So this is where being detox come in at. Oh, yes. In order so our steps, we can walk right walk and right. do better and think more clearer and don't try to outrun scripture. That's right. Don't be overzealous. <clears throat> It'll take you off your judgment seat. Oh, yes. So you can stop looking at others because they don't meet up to your expectation, wherein according to the Bible, they're only supposed to meet up to God's expectation and never yours. That's right. That's right. This will tune you down and make you stop competing against each other. Go ahead. Because the race ain't given to swift or strong. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. You're going to have to endure to the end. To the end. He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. No matter how fast you run, Go you got to keep it up to Jesus' house. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Now, in your journey with God, I want to take my time and soak you. In your journey with God, yes. you have to ask God to stabilize your heart. That's right. Some folks say, Lord, I want to be stable. What part of you? What part? Well, Pastor Jenner, what you mean, what part of me? You have a mind, yeah. you have a heart, oh, yeah. you have a body, right. and you have a spirit. All the four components of your being must be stabilized, stabilized. sound, yeah. firm. If you don't have a firm, stable, solid heart, you will become easily and anxiously and ignorantly emotionally tied to so many things. Their heart is divided. In the book of Hosea, chapter 10, and at verse 2. You know, in order to walk with God, you got to have one heart. That's right. What makes your walk sluggish? Amen. What makes your walk, make you walk out of bounds? Out of bounds. What makes you walk and run ahead of God? But somebody say, well, anybody can run ahead of God. Yes, you can. She what can. I mean by run ahead of God, you run past the, past the scriptures. Besides walking according to the scriptures, you ignore what it said and you run past it. That's right. You lean to your own understanding. That's right. So the Lord says, their heart is divided. Give chapter and verse. Hosea chapter 10, and, and I'm at verse 2. Their, Their heart, heart is divided. It's confused. Now shall they be found faulty. Their heart is confused. That's right. Their heart is divided. divided. Now, what happened? Mm -hmm. Now they shall. Hold it. Amen. First, you and God was one. That's right. Same mind, same heart. Who did you meet? What did you meet? What did you meet? You're left with one heart, came back, don't know what to believe. That's true. When your heart is one with scripture, right. meaning you are united with scripture. That's right. And your sound in your scriptural involvement. Yeah. Nobody and nothing. Can influence you at all. That's right. 
right. Well, when they start to move God out and start to move themselves in. That's right. All right, listen. Their heart is divided. Is your heart divided now? Divided. Until now, you God, you're not attracted to God. That's right. Like you used to be. That's right. You divided now? Amen. Are you a pillow of salt? That's right. 